welcome back to TGTV and welcome back to Denmark of all places. Today I'm here to see Polestar 3. I'm gonna have a first look, walk around of the car along with some of the world's media. It's the first, first look and the global unveil is very, very shortly. As soon as it's available, I'm gonna poke the camera at it and go for a walk around and go through my favorite details of the car and what I think about this incredibly important car for Polestar. As many of you will know, they're building out a portfolio. We've had the Polestar 1, Polestar 2, this is Polestar 3, and there will be four, five, and six coming to round off their product portfolio over the coming years. They're remaining tight-lipped about that, but if anyone's seen Polestar 6, there's exciting, exciting stuff ahead. So this is their SUV, it's their first SUV, and it's going to be an incredibly important car for the brand. So we're gonna have a little nose around. The launch is tonight. I'll show you some of the footage on the screen, then we're gonna jump in inside, where I believe I'm gonna have 10 to 15 minutes with the car alone to walk around. As far as I know, there won't be much on YouTube about this car yet by the time this video goes out, if I'm quick enough. So it should be nice and interesting for you all. And if you're in the market for a premium EV, you might be interested in this. So let's check out Polestar 3. Oh, so, 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 let's head in then. So in here, there is a hive of activity. Pretty much every journalist in the tech space, particularly, and a lot in the automotive space, have been in this room and we've got these two booths at the end here. In each booth, we've got a car and we've got 15 minutes, a 15 minute slot in which I'm gonna be in there talking around and going around the car. So you're not here for my waffle, you're here for the car. So let's head in and get chatting. Here she is then, some alone time with Polestar 3. Now, this is quite clearly Polestar's first SUV and it's also their first car to be produced on two continents. At some point, potentially 2024, production will move from China across to the United States. What you're looking at then is a fully electric five-seat SUV that produces up to 517 brake horsepower and a staggering 910 newton meters of torque. On the road price will start at around 80,000 GBP or 79,900. Production will start midway through next year, 2023, and deliveries are estimated to be around Q4 next year. So it's 2023 Q4. Let's kick off then, because Polestar is obviously all about design. They are a design focused and a design centric company. And that is very, very apparent when you view this from the front. So let's go around the outside. We'll talk through some of the design features on the outside, and then we'll get into some of the nitty gritty and why this thing is such an important car for Polestar and why you should buy one, frankly. Now, the focus on design is apparent from the very start. You've got on the front, even though it's an SUV, you've actually effectively got a wing built into the bumper. That is for aerodynamics, and that actually channels the air through from the front, creates less turbulence at the front, actually sucks air in, pulls it over the back, and actually feeds through into this. Almost a very similar wing design at the back. Polestar are very, very keen to stress, although it's an SUV, you will also get the driving dynamics that you would expect from a sports car. Returning to the front then, you've got some new defining design characteristics. You've got these dual blade headlights here for the first time in any Polestar, and you've also got the Smart Zone sensor cluster as well, alongside that incredible front wing there as well. New to this car as well, and you're not gonna be able to see much of this, the dampers are extraordinarily clever. Advanced chassis control is provided by dual chamber air suspension as standard, allowing Polestar 3 to adapt between comfort and dynamic suspension characteristics. And the car can actually adjust its active damper velocity electronically once every two milliseconds. So it can read the road quicker than you can, well, quicker than you can do anything. And that air suspension is something that I'm really, really keen to try out. That is really trick technology. And that very certainly is going to provide the duality of purpose that you would come to expect from an SUV and a sports car rolled into one like this. Now, let's come around the side. We'll talk range very quickly because a lot of you will be shouting, but what about the range, TG? We've got up to 610 kilometers of range. That's around 380 miles of range, um, which is, I would say, far more than 
any of you are going to need. 0 to 60 then is 4.7 seconds if you choose the 5,600 pound performance pack, which gives you things like bigger wheels uh, and the gold color brakes there and some other trick bits. And you've also, for the first time in this car, you've got some very clever torque vectoring and dual clutch system, which is all very nerdy and very, very clever. And if you're interested in that stuff, uh, go and hit the specs on the Polestar website. I'll leave the link below for that. We're not gonna get into it right now. Suspension is via a double wishbone system at the front. We're gonna go inside now and have a little look. My time is running out with the car. Those are 22s, by the way, and those are Brembo four pot. Inside then, you are greeted with some very, very nice sights. You can order this car still with leather, but I believe that has optional uh, additional cost. I believe the vegan alternative is actually a lower pricing, and they've actually been very clever with the materials. They've actually managed to make their vegan materials out of a more sustainable process um, involving PVCs and lots of clever stuff that I didn't really understand. Uh, but the upshot being they're using less harmful chemicals and non-sustainable processes in the production of their vegan interior, which is great news. And they're making people additionally choose leather rather than just giving you leather as standard, which is of course a lot better for the vegetarian and vegan ones amongst us and those interested in the environment but this place in here is extraordinarily roomy what they did interestingly now they could have made this a seven seater but in the interest of passenger comfort in the back they actually dragged the wheelbase back and gave people in the back more space so you'll see there is an enormous amount of legroom in there i could literally lie down on the floor there there's a whole basically a bed worth of space on the floor there and obviously you can see it's completely flat bottom as well uh, there is no um, central uh, transmission tunnel like there would be in a traditional ICE car adding to that sense of space your panoramic roof that is a standard and what they've not lost another key design element that Polestar is always above your head that is in the Polestar 1 Polestar 2 and that has been rolled over as I say the panoramic roof which is enormous is as standard the other thing as well I really want to point out before I forget they made a huge song and dance no pun intended at this launch about the Bowers and Wilkins hi-fi I cannot wait to hear this thing it's going to be akin to I was gonna say a nightclub but that's probably doing it a disservice it's a 25 speaker system uh, there are literally speakers absolutely everywhere and there are art their actual artwork, look at that, that's absolutely stunning. A huge amount of engineering thought and time has gone into the hi-fi in this car. Thomas, the CEO, is actually going to huge depth about the hi-fi and how personally involved he's been in the development of how this thing sounds. Uh, sound booths with Bowers and Wilkins um, heavily involved in the whole process. So there's been a huge, huge focus on that and I cannot wait. Once these things are available to test drive, that's gonna be the first thing I do putting on my appalling music as loud as it goes. Another thing worth noting, you can actually get LiDAR uh, available in the second half of 2023. LiDAR system, um, depending on your region, will be autonomous driving uh, and the car sort of uh, driving for itself and all sorts of autonomy, depending on your region. But LiDAR is available in this car to order as of the second half of 2023. The operating system on these two beautiful screens is Android Automotive. as co-developed with Google and fronted by 14 and a half inch display there. It's an evolution of the technology first launched in the Polestar 2, which I can personally vouch for. Very simple to use and very, very cool. And it's obviously voice activated as well. I'm being told to get out. So I'm gonna leave this car. All the details will be below the video. Go and check out the Polestar site because they've done a much better job explaining these features. And there's a lot more to this car than you might think. So I'm gonna go now because I'm being told off. Sorry, mate. So that then is that. I got shooed out in the end. Incredibly popular car. Everyone wants to put their cameras around it, film with it, and detail everything. I covered probably a small percentage of what has gone into this car. I definitely didn't do it enough justice with that walk around there. There is so much clever tech in there. There is so much thought that's gone into it. So please do check out the full spec list and the Polestar site, which goes into it in amazing, amazing depth. Even things like the active dampers the way I explained it there's so much more to it so please do go and have a good old nerd out on the details they've done an incredible job on this car anyway for now I'm gonna leave you all I'm gonna leave Denmark I've got a flight shortly back to the UK for some more exciting stuff but thank you very much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this uh, impromptu video here in Denmark with Polestar 3 and I've done my absolute best with it with the resources available to me so they're available to order now. You can spec them up on site as well. I wanna see your specs. I wanna know what you're going for. My intention is to add one to the garage. I'm leaning towards all black at the moment because it looks sick. Actually, I'm gonna show you this one. We have actually got 
a black car here. Yes, the black does hide some of the very, very clever detailing and aero, but I actually adore the look of that. That coming towards you is absolute chaos. And I think the ultimate indicator of good design is whether a car suits all colors. And this does suit black. Obviously on the lighter colors, the contrasting panels around the bottom uh, do pop a bit more. But the rear end's cool. There are so many amazing details. They've really thought about everything. And they are, as I keep saying, predominantly really a design company. And that shows through and through. Talking to everyone, the CEO, the COO, the lady in charge of sustainability, head designer, everyone here is so passionate about the Polestar brand. In fact, the chap that designs the interiors has his own Instagram account. He works at Polestar, he has his own Instagram account called the Polestar Design Community. I implore you all to follow that, but he set that up because he's so passionate about what he does and that's amassed an enormous following I'm getting in everyone's way here. Apologies everyone. Apologies if you're watching this and you were here and I got in your way. Um, we've got that car and we've obviously got another one here, a white car here as well. It's actually unattended at the moment. Rarely seen sight this car unattended, but this is what it looks like in normal light. I actually don't think the white box did it all the justice in the world, but that looks phenomenal in white as well. There is a Jupiter color, but do go and check out the website and the configurator online because I want to see your specs, I want to know what you're going for, and I think the performance pack is very good value at £5,600. You've also got the pilot pack as well, but what I quite like about Polestar Configurator is it is quite simple in there. You've only got a few options. They do come pretty loaded as standard, so you don't really need to start chucking on much. As I say, 79, basically £80,000 on the road in the UK, they'll start at a 0 to 60 on the kind of the base version, the non performance version is five seconds, performance version being 4.7 seconds. No slouch whatsoever. Length actually is just under five meters, so it's shorter than a Range Rover. We're talking around F pace sort of size, and width is narrower than two meters, so it will fit through things in London. All very helpful. I did threaten to disappear and I'm gonna follow through on that now. I am going, I promise. I'll leave you all alone. Hopefully you enjoy the video. I'm actually going now. I'll see you all very soon. Bye.